Hey, welcome back. So we've just updated our copy of Xcode here. Let's open that up and it's open. I have it so it doesn't start up with a splash screen. Let's go about. We're expecting 8. Ah, 8.1. Very nice. So that looks good. Uh, and we can also go to a terminal and check our Swift. We're expecting uh, 3.0 or later. Swift minus version. 3.01. Even better. Okay, so we'll just close that. Uh, let's go back to X. Did I close Xcode? What a dolt. Um, okay, open our project. So now we're opening our project. Our project that was built with a previous version of Swift. And it's detected this and uh, there's actually a uh, nice little utility that automatically converts for us. So we're going to let it convert to the latest and greatest. And like I said, we're going to convert to the latest and greatest. Uh, we could convert to Swift 2.3, but I want to convert all the way to 3. Um, so let's go next. And we'll let it analyze our source and find all the changes that it knows about at least. Um, that'll allow us to build using the latest and greatest syntax. Hey, that was pretty quick. Okay, so uh, we'll take a really quick look at what it's reporting. Um, no shocking surprises here, actually. Uh, the big syntax change, at least the one that's most prevalent, is that it adds this underscore to the first parameter of all the methods that we define. Uh, and uh, that actually makes a lot of sense when we think about it. The first parameter is a little different, you know. The first parameter is, you know, when we call table view, we don't actually have to specify the name of the first parameter. We just pass in a table view, right? So this is saying that first parameter is unnamed. So now we're being explicit about it. Now we're saying, hey, um, yeah, that first parameter is unnamed. And I can go in here and I can say, I can give it a name and then I'll have to actually use that name whenever I call it. Uh, but for now, uh, it's very explicit. It's like that first parameter is unnamed. I don't need to call name it when I call it. Um, so that's kind of nice. Other changes, uh, there are changes in the SDK. Um, and it's made those name changes, well at least it's made the name change that it, it detected for us and uh, that looks good. Everything's a little more concise. No more NS notification center, which is notification center. Uh, default center is now just default. So there's, oh man, that is so nice. Um, yeah, it looks good. So I'll just quickly just thumb through this. Oh yes, and there's uh, a nice little syntax change. Everything looks better actually. Uh, I like this. Very explicit. It's now called is hidden rather than hidden. You know, hidden sounds more like a directive, but really this is a an indication of, you know, is this hidden. Um, so that looks good. Lots of underscore changes. Um, a few syntax changes. Oh, a few nice syntax changes too, you know. Uh, for example, uh, unsafe mutable pointer, uh, <laughs> which we don't, we had to use, but we don't like it. Uh, anyways, we had to actually specify that first parameter as capacity. You know, you have to specify the name now, so it's much more explicit. So this all looks pretty good. I don't see any reason to go through every change. Let's click save and looks like, oh, we have at least one warning. So update to recommended settings. It's saying, um, do you want to detect infinite recursions, suspicious moves? Absolutely. Do we want to do whole, opti whole module optimization? Looks good to me. Let's do those. So Ah, this is a nice reminder, actually. You know, um, uh, let's continue. 
uh, you know, I made these changes and I felt no hesitation about making these changes because I knew I can always undo my changes because I, you know, I always commit my changes uh, at some nice little stopping point. So uh, let's hit the run button now. Oh, well, I see we have one more warning. But the application is starting without us needing to resolve that warning. We might as well look at that warning. And, ah, that makes sense actually. Okay, I heard about this one. Um, Swift is, ah, application seems to be running just fine, first of all. That looks good. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, we can we can play with that later. Um, yes, if I know what's happening here, uh, we're calling something that's returning um, a UI view controller. Actually, it's returning an optional UI view controller, and um, we didn't care about that return value. So when we have this kind of an expression, uh, the thing is that they didn't mark this they didn't put metadata in here to say that the return type is optional. So we need to actually assign it to something. So I'll go underscore equals. And I think I think that will take care of that warning. You know, this is a way of actually assigning that return value to, you know, underscore, which is unnamed basically a variable we don't care about. So, uh, yep, the warning's gone away, no build time warning, the application's running, everything looks really good. So there you go. Um, no major changes required for Swift 3. A uh, few underscores got thrown in, a few syntax changes in the SDK, but for uh, the most part, uh, pretty simple conversion. So uh, thank you all. I will uh, close this down and I will save the source code. Actually, yeah, I'll save the source code and I'll see you in another video one day, okay? Thank you very much.